Hey guys. Well, beginning of lake season, look what we got here. Tracks. <laughs> no. There's my cubby. Can't believe I didn't get them. Would you look at that? That's where he stepped. Trap is right there. He he was on it. He just we got a crusty snow on top. I don't know how he got through that snare. He came through from the back side, the back entrance where I got the neck hold snare. He came through. <sighs> Man, would you look at that? You can see where his claws and his toes are right like oh, the trap is right there. <laughs> How unlucky, eh? That's uh that's the way it goes sometimes though. So anyway. Hopefully uh hopefully he'll come back. I really hope he does because uh Nice to get a cat this year. I was skunk last year with lynx. I really would like to get a few lynx this year. So as you can tell, the moose, uh, the moose hide with some uh, beavers caster <laughs> on there. And on one of those stumps there, I've got a chunk of beavers caster. That's it. That's all I got. And that brought that bugger in. Got to be a fairly heavy cat because uh, that snow is, it's got a good crust to it. I got a job to walk through it today. So, anyway, that's that. You miss them. <laughs> that's a part of trapping. Hopefully, next uh, next video I show, uh, hopefully, we'll have this guy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm at this spot where I have my uh, bear snare. Right there and I got uh, five snares here as you can see big old male lynx came out turned around and hop hop went through there so, uh, have to investigate this because why is a big cat <laughs> Well, there's the path and my snare. Here's where he came from. Through there, from the lower side. Too bad he didn't get the. Yeah. That's the prospector trail. Goes on through there. Through the woods. Squirrel there feeding right now, red squirrel. Anyway, that's a big cat. Huge cat. I'll give you an idea. This is my hand. Look at that. It's bigger than my hand. It's a big cat. Really big cat. So, it's a good sign for uh, this being the beginning of December. Seems to be. Uh, a few links on the go this year, considering the uh, rabbits are down. So, anyway, I will uh, leave this alone. I'm not going to set out on that. I may consider setting a, a lynx uh, cubby somewhere in the immediate area. And uh, that spruce right there, actually, might be a good spot. It's nice and sheltered. But I'm going to leave everything as is now, and uh, hopefully in the next few days, with lynx, uh, with their uh, area, anywhere from 4 to 10 days before they come back to the same spot that they uh, frequent, that's their territory, right? So, larger males tend to have a larger area, which is obvious, but... Um, Larger males, they could take longer before they come back. Like I said, that's a big cat. That's a huge, huge track. That's my foot there. So, 
that lynx uh, he may not be back here for another 10 days he could be back in four days who knows but I will be I can't go over how big that cat is he leaped from there to there to there that's a big big lynx but anyway um, he could be uh, hopefully easy to catch uh, I will uh, I will definitely uh, have a cubby here a um, couple days time and set out it's a good sign anyway this is uh, only the first couple of days of the season so with links so I'm, I'm not too disappointed yet and, uh, 28 days to go thanks for watching Link track <clears throat> not far from my cubby. Oh, look what we got. Nice beautiful links. I'm in the front paw, got them good. So, boy, well, he's a big cat. Oh, we'll get him dispatched. Great day today. Just to show you, got my two front paws. <laughs> Never seen that before. That's the first links for this season. It's great. I've never seen that before with two two front paws. Number three soft catch. Piece of moose hide with beaver caster and that's it. And that's all that's all we use in the set. Hey guys, just here uh, where I showed you the tracks on the earlier video. I said I'd be back in a, in a couple days. Well, it was the next day actually. I set out. So, set out here. I got my spruce boughs up over just to keep the snow. The number three soft catch is right there. And uh, with that step over stick, you don't need to do a whole lot of work. It's your guide sticks you your side. I got uh, for this bait. I got uh, a rabbit, half a rabbit. So he was uh, the rabbit was caught in a fox snare, and it was uh, tainted and spoiled. So rabbits that are tainted like that, I, I usually use for bait. So anyway, you can see the track. So, hoping there's a snare right there. Hoping uh, next time the lynx makes its round back here, he'll get wind of the uh, rabbit and the. Actually, you get wind of the beavers probably first, the caster. And then uh, he'll go for the rabbit. So, anyway. Near there. So, another cubby to, uh, to check. So, we'll get on the get on the roof. I remember, this is the other spot where the uh, lynx came by. Snare there and there. The cat walked on through that way. So, 
set my puppy right here. Let's see, the other half of the rabbit. Spruce bells down underneath the trap for a base. And that prevents uh, from freezing to the to the moss. It's a soft moss underneath, so I use spruce bells underneath the, the leg hole. The step over stick and the the two guide sticks I give you to uh, make sure that the, the lynx puts his paw directly on the pad. And I got uh, beaver's caster on that stump right there. What I do, I take my axe, find the stump, make a few notches, and you can see the piece of beaver caster that's there. I wedge it in there. That way, you have squirrels and birds, and I can't uh, can't go off with it. Anyway, that's that. Not much work to uh, setting them out. Hopefully, in a few days, they will produce. Thanks for watching.